So in the second series of workshops as part of the War and Seeks project, the museum has partnered with the UK Punjab Heritage Association. The UK PHA have been a, a gateway to the British Sikh community, providing us with volunteers to attend workshops. Volunteers range from newcomers to the subject to uh, subject specialists. The workshops provide uh, the British Sikh community rare access to the NAMS Sikh collection, but the museum also learns a great deal from the workshops. I mean, there were some fabulous objects that um, the museum very kindly pulled out uh, of storage, and it's the kind, these are the kind of precious treasures that, that are in archive, but uh, for, the, for the common person going into the museum, they'd never get access to. Um, so I mean, a couple of highlights that um, I would sort of really pull out would be uh, the McQueen manuscript, which is a, a two-volume work, handwritten, um, with paintings that really have, well, have never been published before, um, and some wonderful biographies of, of individuals. And, and that, that is a particular treasure because um, it's got a very, it's got 55 uh, portraits in there, the majority of which are characters of, of the nobility of um, the court of Ranjit Singh, which really as historians we know very little about. So in the McQueen's work at the turn of the century in, in documenting their biographies, albeit uh, very briefly, uh, gives us an insight that uh, we can't find in other written accounts. Of all the many objects that you've got on display today, um, one of my favourites uh, is this set of uh, paintings on ivory. They're portraits of um, some of the key personalities of the court of Lahore, um, of the Sikh kingdom, uh, when it was at its height. Um, and it's, it's wonderful to see them in such immaculate condition uh, and to see the variety of figures. I and mean, You see sets like this in, in private collections and other institutions. But um, this one's special because it's got the complete range of the key figures. You know, it's got courtiers, it's got kings, princes, um, uh, warrior monks, uh, European officers who, who helped train the Sikh army on the uh, French tradition, and it's got um, a, a queen. Um, and it's very unusual to see females in Sikh portraiture, so it's wonderful to see that included here. One of the challenges you have is in these sorts of um, objects is identifying who's who and making sure you know you've got the right person. Um, typically these were um, produced by artists who were selling them to European employees of the East India Company who were you know, in Punjab at the time, just after annexation in the mid-19th century. Um, and they wouldn't always identify the sitter, the portrait. Um, so luckily for us these are all named on the back but the spellings are really odd so you can see that maybe an Indian artist or somebody selling on behalf of the Indian artist was trying to write down the names in an English hand but got the you know garbled the, uh, the spellings and so on and and that's made things quite difficult you know to identify them so today we've been looking at the list here this particular list of all all the sitters and these, these portraits and we've been trying to identify who's who what's what and I think with some success we found out exactly um, we've got the right order and we've got everyone in place and there's only one person missing and we've identified that person so it's been a real real pleasure and a real treat to be able to help just shape and piece together um, this wonderful set of um, ivories, it's a wonderful work of art. And that's yeah, my name is Canwal Madra. Um, I came to the War and Seeks workshop because it's just a unique opportunity to handle items really, handle and get behind the glass really. The museum is always uh, you know, a glass panel and you're peering into an object, seeing the captions, but this has been close up and personal. I mean, if you think about what the word interactive means, I mean, we think of it as a multimedia word, but this is truly interactive. You know, we're flicking through books and not only looking at objects, but sometimes you look at the, the other side of the object. Literally, when you pick a picture up and you look at the other side, sometimes you find things. And also, uh, what I've enjoyed is there's other people here as well, because we're ca you know, discussing things, and sometimes you see something, and another person sees the same thing, and then there's a discussion. And a couple of objects today we've seen, uh, it's sparked a few discussions where I think you know, we've seen things that uh, perhaps on the face of it, it's not quite apparent.